Hello everyone, it's Dr. Zach Boris from Dickinson County Board of Health and Lakes Regional Healthcare uh, in Spirit Lake, Iowa. Um, just wanted to give you a little he heads up and a little update on uh, coronavirus in our county and our state, as well as what's going on here at the hospital. It's been a couple weeks, so I'm going to take my mask off. We are socially distancing. Um, <sighs> numbers are rising dramatically, so we are at points that we have not seen at all in terms of our uh, number of positive cases here in our county and in our state. Um, and that's just continued to go up since I last spoke with you two weeks ago. Um, in the last two weeks, uh, it is now uh, the morning of no November 2nd, in the last two weeks there have been 168 positive cases uh, total in Dickinson County. That's residents here. Um, that is about a fifth of the total number of cases that we've had, um, more than 20% actually. So there have been 852 total positive cases. So of that, uh, almost 200 of them have been uh, in the last two weeks. So uh, rates are rising dramatically and each individual case then can blossom uh, depending on exposures. Um, that's coming from all sorts of uh, locations. It's coming from people being at work. It's coming from um, informal gatherings outside of uh, work or school. Um, it's coming from people who, like me who are just tired of all of this and wanting to get together with people who are important to them and they're doing so often without masks, often indoors as the weather's getting colder. So we want to remind people again, and you've heard me say this many times, please be vigilant. Please don't give up now in terms of uh, the safety precautions that you've been taking. Um, please wear a mask if you are inside and you're with people who are outside of your immediate family group. Um, and that goes for, you know, if you're visiting grandparents, just because you trust them and just because they trust you doesn't mean that somebody couldn't be asymptomatic. Um, and give it to someone. Um, we have had many hospitalizations the last few weeks. Right now, I believe we have two in our hospital who are uh, coronavirus positive. Actually, that's up to three now, I believe, this morning. Um, average over the last couple weeks has been three to four at any point, and there's been some um, uh, rotation in and out, thankfully. We are getting people home. Uh, there have been, I believe we're at 11 deaths for the county at this point uh, from coronavirus. So cases are still going up, and as we know from um, past uh, history, deaths lag the uh, hospitalizations. Hospitalizations across Iowa and in the Dakotas are at their highest points ever. Um, there are 718 people currently hospitalized in Iowa, uh, which is the most by far that there have been. Um, back in the peaks of May and June, we were only at about 400 people. So again, um, this is the most dramatic rise we've seen. So we need to do our part to try to slow this down. And, and I know you've heard us say it before, but please flatten the curve, please wear a mask, um, because it's the best we got right now. Um, so until there's a vaccine and until there's, um, until we know more, please wear a mask. Um, in our county, we're at 18.1% positivity rate uh, of the uh, tests that have been done in the last two weeks, so um, that's quite high, and it's not for lack of doing tests. We're doing more tests than we have for quite some time. It's just the numbers keep rising. So um, be safe. Um, take care of each other like we've been good at doing. Um, couple updates here. So Test Iowa, we are continuing to do it here uh, at Lakes Regional uh, in partnership with the state. Um, that has moved inside because it was getting darn chilly outside with the drive-through testing and, and our staff was uh, not enjoying it and our tent was blowing over. And so we have moved to door D, which is on 23rd Street um, on the north side of the old uh, Lakes Family Practice building. Um, there are a number of parking spots that are designated for it, and we keep adding more because it's been so uh, well attended. Um, you get there, and if you are able to, we ask that you get out of your car and wait in line. Uh, we are marking social distance markers so that people aren't uh, clustering up together outside. We, if we haven't yet, we are going to be installing a hand sanitizer dispenser outside of the door so that everyone who even touches the door handle will be um, safe. Uh, we ask that you wear a mask if you have one and if you are able to go inside because we are now rotating one person at a time inside. It is safe, it is quick, it's effective. Um, also there are signs uh, at those parking spots that tell you that if you are unable to exit your car or if you're not feeling safe doing so as the snow flies, that uh, you call that number and one of the testing uh, folks will come out and, and test you in your car still as long as you have that barcode from uh, testiowa.com. So, still a wonderful resource that we have available and we encourage everybody to use it if there's any question if you think you might have been exposed but don't have any symptoms 
uh, please go get tested so that you know and so that we can break the cycle of, uh, of spread. Um, we do have some updates, as I think I mentioned last time, uh, the state has acquired um, a large supply of the Abbott uh, Binax Now cards, which are the antigen tests. Um, and so those are five minute rapid tests that we've been waiting for for some time. We now have some in stock here, and they are specifically for people who are symptomatic and only those who are from the schools. So. Uh, students ages 5 through 18, or actually uh, kindergarten through uh, seniors in high school at any of the local schools, um, and staff members who work at those uh, schools. So those are available to you. To get one of those, you need to have symptoms, and you need to call a respiratory clinic, which is 336-6696, uh, uh, just as it has been. Um, also, for those of you who think you might have symptoms, um, and don't fall into those categories. We are still testing here at the hospital and we still have our, our phone triage team, uh, Steve and Kaya and um, our other wonderful nurses who have been doing this really well all day, every day for months now. Um, if you got a question, if you think you've been exposed, if you have symptoms, call and we'll tell you the best way to uh, get tested. We are also working on a, um, an online uh, survey that'll sort of walk you through the steps of should I get tested, shouldn't I? Where can I do so? Uh, where? Um, what's the easiest way and the most cost-effective way? So that's coming to the website um, soon, um, which is wonderful. So thanks to Jennifer for that. Um, really, you know, this is, we're sort of, uh, unfortunately, we thought we were uh, past the worst of this. Um, and I think uh, time is telling us that we're just getting started. Um, so I encourage you all to continue to do what you've been doing, even if you're sick of it. Gosh, the, the people who work at the hospital, uh, the physicians, the, the nurse practitioners, the, the nurses, the cleaning staff, we are all incredibly tired of this. This is draining. Uh, this is taxing our resources and taxing our families and taxing um, you know, our, our morale. Um, anything you can do to slow this spread, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. So wear a mask, wash your hands, socially distance, Try not to travel uh, unless you um, have been tested and unless the people you're going to be with have been tested and have been quarantining. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up, and so please make decisions not only based on um, how you're feeling and how you're missing people about travel, but um, make it based on facts and make, make it based on science. Um, you know, none of this is political. Thankfully, this political season should be done after uh, the next week or so. Um, and uh, make sure you get out there and vote. Uh, but this is not political. Wearing a mask is not a political statement. It is just protecting the people who are important to you and people you've never met who are in our community. So be vigilant, be strong, uh, work together, and, and this will pass. Um, take care of yourselves, and talk to you soon. Thanks.